Oh, hey! I didn't know you guys were here. Oh, wow. wow. A whole bunch of you, even. Like a crowd. But how much do I love when this happens, right? Like when people, regular people, just walking along the nice California beach in Venice here, stop to look at a shop mirror on the sidewalk. For me, like, that's what art is. <laughs> you know? It just, it proves that art isn't for the well-educated or the intelligent, but for people like you. <laughs> I call this piece Ancient Greek Arty Chicks. I did a ton of research. I took a book out of the library and everything. <laughs> The, the arm on the blonde girl in the middle is all wrong. Don't look at it. It ruins the whole composition. Oh, God! I ruin everything I do! I'll never get this right! Never, never. Guys like me should dream anyway. Yeah, 
evening, I'm a sport in Australian accent. <laughs>
Catholic. Well, you do have one idea, but it's kind of stupid. Hey, that makes me mad. I thought maybe for one moment I could make all of the arts converge in one place. Painting, music, dancing, maybe even athletics. You mean? Yes. I would like to open a roller disco. How timeless! Timeless! And you know what? Even though I was suicidal about seven minutes ago, I think I can do it.
like a Jennifer or Susan would have killed you. <laughs> but as I instructed them in the lute and the flute, and now they sit by the seaside, singing and playing and luring sailors to their rocky depths. Yes, my daughters, the sirens. The sirens. They never call. <laughs> Zeus did not grant you the leader position because he felt you would be too busy with your children, so he gave the role to Clive. Apparently there is no success, no joy for you nor I. And now Clive is to be granted servitude. Would that I were a god, I would smite your sister, sister. You are such a what's the expression I'm looking for? You're a Yeah. 
Well, okay, okay, because that's how the I am. I know. I'll look it up in the phone book. Turning it into condos. 
Okay. Well, there's a theater there. It's called the Xanadu. The Xanadu? God, I haven't thought of that fire trap in years. <laughs> what do you want it for? You gonna run movies in there? Yeah, movies and live theater performances. There would also be an art gallery. Visionary, but I mean in a good way. We developers love the arts. Really? Sure. Nothing turns a crap neighborhood around better than the arts. <laughs> then you can kick out the artists and sell it for more to the urban professionals. <laughs> There's also going to be an athletic element to this endeavor. We'd like to open a roller disco. A roller disco? You're wearing roller skates to a business meeting. You're either an idiot or a genius. How much money have you got to spend? I was thinking you could give it to me for free. You're an idiot. <laughs> me? Give you one of my properties for free? Well, it would have all of the arts in one place. So people could Say go the free part again, because that's just comedy in a bag. Besides, <laughs> you're not using it. And it shouldn't be torn down. It is a great old auditorium. I should know. I built it. You did? It was my first building. I never opened it. You built that theater and it's been empty all these years? Why don't you let me Why don't you stop talking and I don't throw something at you? No. <laughs> Get out of here. I got people on telephones I have to yell at. How's it going, Miles? <laughs> you! I said you'd be back. No. It can't be you. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You just remind me of somebody I knew when I was a much younger man, like this guy here. Only I didn't show so much leg. <laughs> you, you look so familiar. They call me Kira. Which is good, because that's her name. <laughs> Kira, huh? Sorry, lady. You just look like somebody I once knew. Now get out of here, the both of you. And forget about the Xanadu. I'm tearing that place down. No other face could take you off my mind. You're so refined and much too kind. I have to warn you, I'm never gonna set you free. Cause I was born to love you for eternity.
you must be a muse. Except uh, muses are ancient and Grecian and got pretty southern bells all the way from Alabama. Sure enough, and so is you a bond. Hey, what do you think, darling? A theater. And I built it just for you. What should we call it? How about the Xanadu? Solid, <laughs> And how about this goofball of a clarinet player putting down the last payment on the construction? And now you know this thing, we're going to have big band concerts in here. Only, now that I've looked over the books and everything, well, what's not open right now? What? The timing is wrong. There's a war on. And you think just because there's a war on that it's not the time for art? So you want to the here until after the war, because it'll find his money. Bingo. You understand. Oh, I understand. And I hope you understand that I have to leave you. The man I want is the man who has the nerve. What are you saying? I'm going to leave you, Danny. Oh, no, no. You'll come back later. No. After. I won't come back to you, Danny. And 35 years from now, when a young man comes to your door and asks you to rent this theater, you decide to agree and you will help him. Hey, wait a minute. You didn't say that when we broke up. <laughs> but I'm saying it now when you're remembering. <laughs> what? Oh, help, Sonny. If you ever loved me, give it here a break. What? The path back to me is in that piano. How can you win another strike? You better never stray, cause I'll never be far away. lady. How old would you say she is? 24, 25, 60? <laughs> I'd say somewhere in there. Dude, what is your case? My case? My case? I'll tell you my case. It's this idea you had. 
the two of you had, it was her idea too, the idea of doing concerts in this theater, right? Oh, mm -hmm. it's going to be more than concerts, man. See, now you're you. annoying me. Why do you keep talking? <laughs> <laughs> I had that idea a long time ago. Concerts in this theater, classy stuff, swing music, with three girls singing a tight, tight harmony. So 
so hard on yourself? Hi. It's awful, but I did it. And it's bad. Minnie, for all time. Minnie, for a long time. Minnie, for a short time. But it's bad. Oh, you wonder that I was doing with watching all the lights and creation. I eat for you. Aw, come on now. You're not such a bad drawer. <laughs> Now, sister, now, sister, yeah.
What do you think? Not bad. Not bad at all. Where's that girl? The blonde. People come and go so quickly here. <laughs> I tell you, kid, when I made that deal, I assumed you never could do it. This whole theater, and me, too. <laughs> Your name is uh, Sonny Malone, right? That's right, Sonny Malone. Danny McGuire. Malone and McGuire. It sounds like a Fordville team. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that joke. <laughs> so what'd you give up on this place, Danny? Oh, what can I tell you, kid? I loved a girl, a heck of a girl. She inspired me. She brought out the best in me, but I wanted to make money, so I let go a lot of my dreams. Next thing you know, the guy I was was gone, and the girl had gone, too. Aw, Danny. Enough about your personal life. So, this theater is what it is. Yeah, 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 you did. Well, what do you say, partner? Uh, okay, but I warned you, I don't know the first thing about being a partner. Oh, it's easy. We share the responsibilities and we argue a lot. It's like being married without the good part. <laughs> <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> Kid, is it a deal? <laughs> yes, it is a deal. Well, what do you know? I'm back in the show business. Xanadu, decree what come. I start like what I don't decree. Where Alf, the sacred river, ran through caverns measureless to man down to a sunless sea. That's you, isn't it, Tangerine? My name's Kingdom. No. Of course, you can't be Tangerine. If you were Tangerine, why, by now you'd be my age. Unless... Unless? If you ever see someone who looks a lot like you, only she's my age now in Southern, and she has the name Tangerine, would you tell her that I loved her very much? And I was a fool, and I never loved again. Well, that would be a lot for me to say to someone I just met. <laughs> but, I'm sure wherever she is, she knows me. Hey, I'm gonna go see how that side looks from the balcony. <laughs> this is all because of you, don't you feel it? Oh gosh, I can sign many things right now. This has been delightful, if you actually humiliating. But the majority is a lifetime. Don't you feel like all your hard work is coming to fruition? Don't you feel the joy? And just, you know, the relief that comes with creativity? I feel, I feel... Babe. <laughs> I feel something in my chest. <laughs> a warm feeling, not like cognac. This is wonderful and exciting. But something forbidden, something I feel will cause my destruction. You are so Catholic. <laughs> I have a sense of foreboding, something terrible. Hey, Sonny Boy, you gotta come see the sign from up here. Sign? The Xanadu. Xanadu. The Xanadu sign. The sign. The people will see this and just die. They'll love it. People die. No. Xanadu sign. Come on. So why don't you want to go to your castle side here and do some last minute details? Die. Die. Hurry up. The sign is so clear anybody could see it. Okay. Well, I will see you later. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it is you, Hermes, the fleet-footed messenger of the gods. What brings you to me, Hermes? Hi, I bring you a message from Zeus. Yes, Hermes? He wishes to know what you have seen his sign. Yes, yes, I have seen the sign, Hermes. He also wishes to remind you that the penalty of creating all of one's own is the eternal damnation of the world. Why, 
bitch. I don't know your life. <laughs>
pavement shock mural like must journey. The Pegasus, the white winged steed shall fly me to Zeus, where I may receive my proper punishment. Oh, curse it be my life! Curse it be your life, sister! You seem to be working through something. You want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> Fallen in love with a mortal. Not that Parker Stevenson, for I too find him a dream book, but I have resisted. <laughs> oh, Kira, I should have known if I'd be here on the beach. Oh, Earth to Sunny, here's your skate. Oh, Sunny, I'm afraid I'm in love with you, and now I must leave for all eternity. Wow. You are so complicated. <laughs> This thing of it is, I'm in love with you too. No, no, stop! I cannot hear these words. Each one of the flowers in my ear is a dagger in my heart. Oh, go ahead. Tell her a little more, Sonny. Let us all share our little secrets, shall we? It will prove most amusing. You first, Calliope. I'm not wearing a bra. Scandalous! <laughs> My name is not Kira. <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay. You know, your name was the one thing I didn't like about you. <laughs> My name is Claya. Like, seriously, witchy poo. Let's try to dress simply and just let my personality be the star. <laughs> this is real, genuine love. Can you prove it? But no. See? Fie upon you, Sonny Malone. Fie! Yeah, fie! Fie. <laughs> well, you are such a fool. I did not only use words to express it. Tell him. Tell him in a song.
shame. And you, my beloved sisters, forever granting encouragement and doing back up. <laughs> I must confess, I have done that which Zeus has decreed as forbidden. I have announced my very useness to a mortal. No! I have also allowed myself to fall in love with this mortal. Never! I have also, in my most blatant defiance of Zeus, created art myself and enjoyed it. Oh, no, you did <laughs> This is cute, this whole little cult thing you got going on. But I don't believe for one second that any of you are from ancient Greece. Do you? We speak in unison. How much proof do you need? Okay, but there's not. Away I go. I shall return from whence I come, back into the chalk mural that is crude and amateurish. Please, in the drawing, Pegasus shall take me a mountain and Mr. Seuss shall mightily punish me. Then we shall be both so. We shall return to the mural. Let this year be the 1980, in known as the year all inspiration left the arts. <laughs> and we shall leave as well, smug in our confidence. Goodbye to you, Clio, Akira. I really thought we had something there, man. I you say hello, I watch the shadows fall, I don't see you at all. People working in creative, it's 50 50. <laughs> no, I mean, like, certifiable. She says her real name was Clio, and that she's actually a muse from ancient Greece. And now my drawing, now she's gone back there, and she's waiting for Pegasus to fly her to Mount Olympus. A muse, huh? Well, that would explain how I could have known her long ago, and why she would stay forever young. Maybe my whole life is taking a sudden extreme spiritual turn. That happens sometimes to rich people. <laughs> Not often. <laughs> she's crazy, but she 
she said she loved me. She said she loved you, you and not me. She must be crazy. <laughs> this, is, this is absurd, kid. We just gotta go on with our lives and, and forget this whole concept. <laughs> Very feelings which torture me so painfully. 
to me. She's got it bad, but that ain't good. <laughs> I shall now proclaim my sentence. Eternal banishment in the never world. Stay your hands, my lord. I shall prove the existence of genuine love and not with feelings, but with hard evidence. What? How? Impossible. She proved it. She's good. Zeus, <laughs> I remind you of my son, Achilles, the greatest warrior of Greece, and how he was destroyed by Paris who shot his arrow straight through Achilles' heel, thus killing him. For, as you may recall, dear Zeus, all of the gods' offspring are dipped into the river Styx, thus making them impervious to injury. But they are held by their ankles, so that their only vulnerable spot is their ankles. I remember this, Zeus, but I don't see how... Master Zeus, I appeal to you. Look at the attire. Iron has gone. The woman woven fabric placed round her ankles. The legs are a mess! Of course, no curse can penetrate this demi goddess. Not as long as these mighty leg warmers are around my ankles! Oh, if only I had got to knit leg warmers for my brave son of Mortal. I don't care. She will be banished anyway. Oh, my Zeus. My mighty, mighty Zeus. Think of your heart and not your brain. Have you never been there Yeah, more 
for he is forbidden in the world of the gods. Sonny, do you not know where you are? This is Mount Olympus where the gods dwell. This is Zeus and three attending goddesses. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Where have I seen this? I saw this in a movie. <laughs> yeah, this is Clash of the Titans. No, this is not. No! for bucks in some Harryhausen movie. You're Ursula Andress, you're Claire Bloom, and you're Florence Olivier, like out for a dollar. Anything else. And you, oh, you are two-time Oscar winner Maggie Smith. Assassin, assassin. I'll fight this bunch of hams for you any day. Actually, no, these are the actual gods. But this is just like a movie. If they resemble the actors who portrayed them in a film that you saw, it's only a testament to the craft of filmmaking. You <laughs> mean those are actually gods? Yes, we are gods and are not amused. I don't care. I will fight anyone or anything for this woman I love. You would dare to fight Zeus for your love? You would dare to fight me? No! Yes. I love her that much. Well, well. <laughs> I never saw that before. Someone who loves that much. And you, Clio, do you love this mortal? Oh, my God. And would you willingly give up your powers, even immortality? Sure. I would. But, Clio, this is 1980. The muses are in retreat. Creativity shall be stymied for decades. But theater? Why, they'll just take some stinkeroo movie or some songwriter's catalog, throw it on a stage, and call it a show! Then I shall use the incredibly popular art forms in each moment of time. The stage adaptation of the inferior cinematic offering. <laughs> of a box that is juke. <laughs> and I shall use them to remind mankind that there is something greater than wealth or fame. And that is the human experience rendered comprehensible through art. Oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> I begin this quest on Earth today with a roll of despair. Then so be it, Clio. You must now live on Earth as a mortal and as an Australian. Thanks, <laughs> But before you go and leave me forever, one final gift. Yeah! Is that it? 